Hello from Happy Island. Yes. Happy Island. This time we will dive into the great atmosphere of one of the tiniest Caribbean islands called Happy Island. It was built using lampy conch shells by the local entrepreneur named Shanti. He has spent the last 17 years creating the perfect setting for making strangers happy. But what's the benefit of being good to strangers? And can meeting strangers make us happier? Every day is a holiday, man, in Happy Island. And there's happy hour every hour. After years of preparation, we have left behind the safety of our jobs, apartments, social security and solid ground, and embarked on a three-year sailing trip around the world in search of the good life. We want to meet people, visit places, and explore the science behind what a good life is and what we can do ourselves to have a good life. All this at the comfortable speed of 10 kilometers an hour. Please join us as we explore life. Uh, this is the beginning, the opening section of Happy Island, early in the day. Visitors coming to our shores always seek for pleasure and smiles and rum and good beaches, good people. That's how I came up with the name Happy Island. No doubt that people seem to be very happy on this little island with a bar and a grill right in the middle of the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. But there's more to it than that. It actually started as a solution to a local environmental problem. We had an environmental cleanup campaign throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I did the recycling of the Lambie shells, that been a natural waste on the beach. The local production of Lambie conch created piles of conch shells along the beach. The local hotels wanted the shells removed to keep the beaches clean. But the local fishermen didn't feel it was their problem. As a solution to the conflict, Shanti suggested that he simply gathered all the shells and used them to build an island, Happy Island. Probably the only island in the world built on conch shells. As yet another benefit of Happy Island, it also serves an important function as a guiding light. The sailors had problems navigating through this bay, Clifton Harbor, because of the reefs. And having Happy Island being here is like a beacon and so it's assist in the navigating side of things for the sailors. And that's why Happy Island is where it is today. There's no doubt that Shanti is happy about his island. He loves working on it and has worked on it every day of the week for the last 17 years. But what is it that gives him the energy to keep working so hard? I like that it brings happiness and satisfaction to visitors because making others happy and having people uh, let you know how they feel and think about the island brings joy and satisfaction and friendship, of course. The great feeling of meeting strangers is definitely something that we have also come to love during our travels. Any average day on the ocean, getting smacked around by the waves and working off an extensive lack of sleep seems to be forgotten the very moment we reach land and exchange smiles and have a chat with one or two of the locals. But what does science have to say about the benefits of being kind to strangers? There are two benefits of being friendly to strangers. One is that it decreases the likelihood that they'll attack you. Uh, <laughs> and two, uh, it increases the likelihood that you'll make friends with them. And it's a winning strategy. You know, there are two, there are two character strengths that in some studies were universally uh, uh, appreciated. Kindness and gratitude. So wherever you go in the world, whatever culture you go, if you're kind and thankful, you know, all the doors open. In addition to opening doors, being kind to others actually do ourselves good. Doing something good to another person uh, is reflected uh, on uh, a feeling of positive emotion. Usually, people after a good act report positive emotions. So it is an altruistic act maybe, but uh, the benefits uh, for the giver are equal to the benefits for the receiver. Yet another thing Shanti really likes about being good to strangers is the feeling of unity. Well, the fact that reaching out and people welcoming you and you welcoming them 
your all-in-one park. With Happy Island and its visitors from around the world, Shanti has created a great setup for making others happy and having many positive interactions with other people every day. But how do these small interactions with strangers compare to the connections we have with the people closest to us? And can interaction with strangers give us a better life? Uh, what seems to matter is having at least one really close friend who you can count on when times are tough. And then beyond that, it's not necessarily the, the number of friends, but the, the frequency of moments of positive social connections. And those can be with people you would count as friends, but it could equally be with uh, acquaintances and strangers. Connections with strangers can't replace the importance of at least one close friend but they can most definitely increase your happiness in life. So do something good for yourself and say hello and give a smile to strangers along your path. It's a winning strategy in every corner of the world. I think being friendly to strangers is a positive health behavior. Every bit as important as eating your fruits and vegetables. As long as the Almighty gives me the energy, I will be here making other people happy.